Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can build a mind map very quickly from any text that can be very useful when you're learning a new topic and you just want to create a nice and coherent overview of what it is that you're actually studying. I'm going to use Infranodus for that and uh, Google's course on machine learning. So first of all, open Infranodus and then create a new graph. You can click on the live ideation tool. And then let's say I have the course open here. Um, and I'm just reading about machine learning. So for example, uh, this is the first chapter, key terminology, what is machine learning, supervised and non-supervised. So then I can copy and paste this text. And then what I can do is to select the nodes which I want to be added into the graph. So for example, machine learning, I'm interested in supervised, I select that and input is an important word, and prediction. I add it into the graph. As you can see, it added those ideas um, and visualized them. I can go on and say that uh, I want to add something about the labels to remember it better. So I copy and paste this text, and then I say that, okay, a label is something that we're predicting. Linear regression is an important topic and then also, let's say it can show the future time. Okay, so we add this into the graph. We added some more items. You see, we already have an interesting triangle of concepts here. Go on further, uh, add something about the features. So then I can say a feature is an input variable in a simple linear regression, simple machine learning project. You can select this again might be using a single feature while sophisticated could use million of features. You can make it singular so it's added as a node and as you can see we already have an interconnected structure. As we go on with this kind of uh, idea let's say I open a topic on linear regression and uh, I want to write something about like training and loss. So for example I can copy this whole paragraph add it into Infernodus and say that training a model simply means learning good values and all the weights, weights is an important word, and the bias from the level supervised learning, machine learning algorithms. Actually, this can be like a word. So I select this. Okay, minimizes loss. Risk minimization. Okay add this into the graph and as you can see I'm starting to get a more coherent structure. I can zoom in and see the main concepts that I'm talking about, machine learning model, uh, supervised learning and so on, features, variables and so forth. Let's say here I want to combine uh, machine ideas in relation to the subject. Also what we can do is to click on the 
uh, inside recommender system here, which will tell you how we could develop these ideas further or what we could think of next. So for example, here it proposes us to think of the connection between machine learning linear regression feature and gradient curve. So what is the relation between machine learning and gradient uh, descent loss curve and so on. So it proposes us how, what, where we could do the further research in order to deepen our understanding of the subject. We can also use the analytics panel for that on the right here, the insight or the essence, look at the topics, look at the structural gaps and the research questions that the system is proposing to us and use this as a feedback to know what we can explore further in this topic. Once you do this for a while, you will have a really nice mind map forming, which will be unlike standard mind map maps, not hierarchical, but rather very interconnected. So you will be able to see the whole discourse and also notice you know, how it's all related, what are the main topics within and so on. So this is really great. You can use uh, hashtags or you can just write your text, copy and paste in the same way. It's going to be much more dense, uh, but then you have less work to do uh, and it will identify the most important topics for you automatically. Try it out on infranodos.com and let us know your feedback. We will be very interested to hear back. Thank you.